Yo, what's the word, gang? So, you got Rilo. You finally responded back to this whole Big Meech Block 125 situation where, um, you know, basically they were saying, like, how, you know, Rilo trying to compare himself to Big Meech as if he made that type of money Big Meech made, you know, because at the rain, the Big Meech and on BMF, he said they was doing $20 million a week, bro. $20 million a week. You know, Rallo said he definitely made a lot of money. Hood money, bro, $8 million, that's good. You know, don't get me wrong. And like I said before in previous blogs, him being one of them guys that's providing for his neighborhood, you know, building up the community, that shit is always a plus, especially when, you know, some people would say some of the drugs you might be selling might be tearing down the community. You know, but um, different obstacles, different folks, but... um. $20 million a week, that's what BMF was making at the top of their shit that they put on record. Could have been more. You know, Rallo said he was $8 million, but he goes with this. He said, I never said I made Meech money or anywhere near what he made, but I did make more money out the streets than most of these N-words. That's, that's hating. So, you know, at the end of the day, he's saying people hating on him. You know, and Rallo, he been... You know, vocal since he been home. A lot of people say he got a lot of emotions now with him. Before he wasn't like this. Some people say he, you know, just running the internet up. Like I seen on the Say Cheese video, he like, yo, this is the new equity right now. It is the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it up. And I can understand that 100% because at the end of the day, that's what a lot of people making money from. That's how a lot of people getting booked for interviews, you know, paying $15,000, $30,000 an interview, you know, as if it's a show. You know, some of them guys had them lined up a few times a month. That's over 100 Gs, you know what I'm saying? Plus show money, things of that nature, all because of some viral moment on the Internet. So I definitely understand where Rallo coming from with, you know, keeping the Internet presence and things of that nature. But the streets, they ain't taking a liking to it. You know, it's been multiple occasions where people ain't called them out, you know, even down to the, the young, um, the rich homie Quan funeral. They was like, yo, he was in a bugged out. And he was, you know, I think they said he was recording. Wow, um, in service, they ain't like that. But then nobody really want to call his name out. And then with the whole young dog situation, you had Kenny Money. He basically called him out. They end up squashing that later on, but the simple fact is he did get called out. You know, me personally, I don't think somebody can tell the next person how to grieve. You know, the way he grieve is the way he gonna grieve. You know, as long as it's genuine and it's not fake. And Rich Homie Quan, down to, um, you know, Young Dolph, he had actual relationships with him. So it ain't no cloud chase move. It ain't like, you know... A person just making some content on them because, oh, yeah, that's the hot topic. But he actually knew these people, bro. Same thing when it came to the Mo3 situation. You know, Mo3, him pulling up on Mo3 and, um, you know, doing the video for his family, making sure his family, you know, get that type of money, making sure that they get all the proceeds from the song. But also going to, you know what I'm saying, Texas and doing the video you know, at multi grade site. So people say that was Cloud Chase move, but he came out and said that how you think I even got the address. He mentioned this on Say Cheese. He said the reason he even got the address is because of um Motri's mother, you know what I'm saying, gave him the address to the the actual location where he was buried. But yeah, man, I'm gonna play this other footage for y'all before we get up out of here so y'all can hear what Rilo said, what prompted all this. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what you think. It's death for the Cloud Chaser TV. Also, I'm going to play that Block 125 content, too. Gang. What's the word, gang? So Rilo got a message for Big Meech. And um, 
I guess he's responding to some of the rumors that's been out in regards to the Cuffy situation. I did a little bit of research on that, and um, I'm waiting to get these transcripts that uh, Mickey Truth was talking about. But apparently, Mickey Truth say, if you look inside the transcripts, the feds confirmed that Big Meech didn't know anything about what the girl Tammy was doing when she was, you know, doing a third party snitch cooperation with the feds. So, you know, that's still up in the air. They still going to look into that, you know. Um, me personally, you know, Big Me story alone, that shit probably worth a billion dollars, you know, because think about it. They put it in motion pictures. It go to the movies. That movie definitely going to do 500 million to a billion in sales. Come on. Think about American Gangster. But this American Gangster of our time, a lot of these stories are before we were even like a lot of us like you know not a lot of us but you know a lot of people that's intrigued with this culture you know before they was even alive or they was young you know very young so you know now you got the story like big meech just recent you know what i'm saying within the past couple of decades you know his story he made millions of dollars but um rallo got this message he say the streets is dead og get this legal money and stay out these f niggas way don't even worry about a F nigga. Say most of these so-called street dudes ain't even made a million out the dope game, but always talk street shit. Now, I want y'all to get in the comments and give me your opinion on that because that is something to say. You know, Rallo, he's on record for making millions out the dope game as well as, you know, being incarcerated for it, you know, coming home and, Still going back to his community, trying to rebuild what he what he had started building before he got locked up, which is credit to him because a lot of people, once they get hit by the streets, like as far as go to jail or, you know, certain people might not be riding with them or people cooperating on them. A lot of times they turn their back on the streets when they get out and they, they be like, you know, I ain't rocking with them guys. I ain't rocking with that neighborhood no more. They did me bogus. So I know it's different aspects of it, but um. Rallo definitely a stand-up dude for doing that, I think. You know, going back to his neighborhood and trying to build what he had started building before he got locked up. Now, Big Meech, you know, we haven't heard much about Big Meech. We seen the picture go viral yesterday, him getting a fresh cut by the barber. And the barber took a um, picture with him, you know. Um, I think that um, Big Meech got a bright future ahead of him. That's for sure. You know, and as uh, far as the streets... He don't really need to even dabble into the streets. He could probably even become a motivational speaker and get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a show. You know, just going around the country motivating people because I'll go see it. I'll go see what he's talking about because rather you come from the streets or you know somebody close to you that was in the streets. You know, a lot of people can relate to it, especially if you're here in America, you know, because um, being brown, black, you know, this 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 type of stuff just comes with it. You know what I'm saying? It becomes a lifestyle. It's a way to get about the streets. But uh, Big Meech, salute to him. He's home. Um, right now, I think he's spending time with family, you know? That's probably what it is. Spending a lot of time with family just adjusting. Remember, iPhone didn't even exist. You know what I'm saying? And back then, shit, we had, like, what, MySpace? We got all of these social media platforms now. You know, everything moving in seconds. You know, just adjusting to that is probably crazy. Even though he was in the feds, I wouldn't be surprised if he had an iPhone in that damn federal penitentiary. He big meech. You know, um, but I wonder, who do you think hit him, though? Hit his hand, though? Like, far as rappers. Because I know for a fact, 